I thought Mark Smith was a little too quick in the stoppage. I don't think it's an awful stoppage, but I'm also like, I mean, now he's right there. Maybe he saw something in the eyes of RDA, but like I sat there and watched it and I was like, uh, I think that stoppage is a little too quick, but yeah, even already, I mean, RDA didn't have really have a big problem with it, which probably took me, tells me he knew he was done. Yeah. I think um, it was one of those deals where that fight wasn't stopped. Then it would have been stopped five seconds later. Yeah. But you are, you are right. It, it did. It felt a little early, especially because like the knockout, he kind of, the knockout wasn't like, uh, wasn't like that viral knockout of the head kick that was going on. I don't know if you saw that the head kick knockout from LFA, the guy did a head kick and the other guy literally jumped up in the air and landed on his back. It was insane. It was brutal and it was violent. This one was, it wasn't like he clipped him because he didn't clip him. He hit him, but he kind of, you know, it, it wasn't like, Oh my God, he's dead. It was like, he's knocked out kind of. And then he hit one shot and then he hit a second shot and the fight was called. So he, he could have let it play a little longer. I agree with you, man. Watching this fight was interesting. Um, there was a lot of moments where maybe RDA was controlling the fight against the cage, but he wasn't really able to do much. So you couldn't really score that for him. He would throw a lot of strikes, but you really got the sense that Fazeev had the much more significant strikes and they had a lot more zip on his punches. Um, by the way, just quick side tangent. The more I was thinking about the Mark Ratner quote, that's kind of BS. We would still have those moments of and still and, and you if it goes to the fifth round. No, we, we no. Still, but if you are if you already know who's up, you may no, not right. have that moment. But if if the, if the fight goes to round three and it's it's tied, then we won't know. So we won't well, say goodbye like, to those. Like let's say it's thirty nine, thirty seven after four rounds. Yeah. Okay. Those will go away, but not all of them. Yeah. We will still have those moments. I just want to say that Mark Rander tried to fool me. He didn't. We will still have those moments. There will still be fights. You are right. Some will be gone, but we will still have those yeah. moments. Anyways. Uh. Yeah. All I can say is this, Jason. I'm all aboard the Raphael Disease hype train. I mean, like, RDA could not wrestle this guy down to the ground. I mean, maybe he scored one takedown that shouldn't really have counted as a score of a takedown because he's right back up. Yeah. But. Dude, who the hell is going to be able to beat this dude? Fazeev. Grappler. Not gonna, yeah, but, but Fazeev's wrestling I, I, is look, absurd. Okay. If I was managing a top five UFC lightweight and Rafael Fazeev is the opponent, I'm pushing for a five round fight. Yeah. Because, look, uh, you know. Did it seem like he was wearing down as that fight went on? Yeah, I mean, look, he's a, he's a you know, he he doesn't miss he he doesn't miss uh, strength and conditioning workouts. There's very clear on that one. But like when I, when he goes, give me Justin Gaethje, hell yeah, bro, sign me up for that violence. I didn't see, did you say that in the post fight interview. Uh, post fight press conference. Oh, okay, I didn't see that, but that's exactly what I was thinking when I went to bed after watching the fight. All I was thinking was Fazeev and Gaethje. I mean. Fazeev's one of the most him and him and that dude uh, Nurmagomedov, Saeed. Both those strikers are they are they are such fun strikers to watch. Like like even if they win a decision, I'm super just enthralled at what they do, how fast they strike, how they counter. I mean, it makes sense why Fazeev is is an instructor at Tiger Muay Thai. All right, looking at the lightweight ranking, so it just got updated, and Fazeev is now the number seven contender. So above him, you got Darius, Chandler, Machev, Gaethje, Poye, Oliveira. The only fight that I think is a potentially potentially bad stylistic fight would be either Darius or Machev. Any other of those guys, stylistically, I think is a great matchup for Rafael Fazeev. Dude, but I don't think Darius could take down Fazeev. I mean, RDA is a damn good takedown artist. He's, his wrestling is good. Fazeev was able to stop his wrestling. He has phenomenal balance. Dariush is going to be one of those guys. I feel like we're going to look back two years yeah. from now and go, what happens if he doesn't suffer that injury? He gets the Machev fight. If that happens and he would have beaten Machev, he'd be fighting for a title. I feel like because of that injury, I think it's going to ultimately tarnish him potentially getting that title matchup. Yeah. At least he's still in a position to get there, but you're right. That injury. Damn. Damn. Yeah, that's uh, you're you're. I think Fazeev's gonna challenge for a title, man. I mean, I just, I they're not gonna put him up against Dariush. 
they're going to put him up against Gaethje or Chandler or Poirier. They're not going to put him up against Mahachev, I don't think. They're, he's going to get a championship opportunity I, because they're going to want to put him in these stylistic matchups. And it's hard for me to say that he is not a better striker than anyone else at 155. Like, technically speaking, I think he's the best striker at 155. Especially with the way he does those kicks. Like, there, there's things that I see. Um, I, I know Javier Mendez did an interview with Submission Radio guys, and, and Ali has said things on, on social media. It almost makes me wonder that is the Islam Hachev camp concerned that they are going to get passed up because of his fighting style, and that the UFC looks at it and says, "Hey, we'd rather do you know Oliveira against you know a more exciting fighter." I mean, but you know, Fazeev went out there. I mean, for RDA, probably you know championship you know hopes are are, are now gone there. <laughs> 